Hi everybody, it's Andy from Snow Camps Europe here. And in this video, we are talking about the 2024 snow harvest. As you can see from these images here, we have started to pile up snow to keep for the start of the 2024-25 winter season. We've currently got one depot that's been being worked on literally all winter. You may have seen we made a video where we said we were uh, preparing snow to be shipped to other resorts. Um, example, Morzine, which was just grass as it always is. Because here on the Kitchstein Home Glacier, we have so much snow. We've got a piece and bully currently working at moving all of that snow into one big pile. This is going to be packaged and then shipped to any resort that needs snow. There is going to obviously be a charge for this. And in France, we're going to charge more than Canada because it's got further to travel and there is a chance that it might melt before it gets there. But this is the gamble. If you're in a resort and you would like some of this snow, then contact us and we will organize shipping before the, bank, uh, before the half term holidays. Just to have another little look at this big pile of snow being being prepared for shipping right now here on the Kitsano Glacier. Um, this was a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek video and obviously that was the start of the snow making snow farming for the the season and that's been going on pretty much all winter since february they've been piling and piling and piling up snow now just behind me you may be able to see but if not i will show you some images in a second they have started to the second farming so two piece and bullies working all day long literally moving tons and tons of snow into a massive pile and then what will happen with this is they will cover this in the reflective blankets which will allow the snow to to survive the hot summer and then come mid-October, that will get spread out onto the piste so we can start skiing again and get open as early as possible. Now, you may remember that we had a pretty bad start to the season upon the glacier, which isn't really normal. Um, and this was partly because about the second week of October, they unwrapped the depots, or the biggest depot anyway. And they were about to spread this out over the, the slope that I'm standing on. And they got the, the warning that it was going to become extremely warm for the last two weeks of October. So they actually didn't spread the snow out because it would have definitely melted and they just left it where it was. But instead of covering it back up with the blankets, they didn't. And guess what? The snow all melted. And this is why we had such a poor star on the glacier um, at the end of October, where normally all of that snow would have been put out onto the slopes and we would have been skiing third, fourth week of October. We didn't actually get started, I think, till the second or fourth of November. But as you can see from these images, there's a massive amount of snow being moved. They are piling that up. That's going to then get put under the blankets and we should get a good start to next winter. Now, obviously this winter, they've said it's been a poor winter for snow. If you watch the snow reports we publish every Wednesday, you'll have seen that we've actually had pretty much more snow on the glacier than the last five years in an accumulation. Um, it was hindered by very strong winds and a lot of the snow went sideways. If all of that snow had fallen, we would actually have had more, way more snow than we've had since we started doing the snow reports five years ago um, and possibly even longer. So yes, it has rained low down and a lot of low resorts suffered with warm temperatures, but over 2000 meters up on the Kitsanon Glacier and on the other glaciers of Austria, we've actually got pretty good snow coverage. The snow at the moment is very, very nice. It's hard in the morning and it's softening up by mid morning. Uh, very nice spring conditions and obviously today blue skies. Um, but as I'm recording this on the 14th of April, we are expecting a load more snow to fall in the coming days. But it's Andy for Snow Camp Europe with some more images of the snow farming here in Caprun, saving the snow for winter 2024-25, as we always do. Bye for now, everybody.